advent calendar out of Eclipse gum. You're going to need two packages of Eclipse gum because there's 12 in each and there's 24 days that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So it doesn't matter which flavor, I just happen to pick up these two. And I always, I, I've been meaning to for a while and I just kept forgetting. We're going to start off with a 6x8 sheet of paper. Okay, on this 6x8 sheet of paper, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and score it at 3 and 3 quarters and 4 and a half going so that your paper's long ways. So I am using the Trim Air by Westcott and this has a scoring blade and a cutting blade all together so I don't have to switch it back and forth. It's very nice. Okay. And it's pink. Okay, so three and three quarters and four and a half. Okay, I want to score it nice and good. There we go. And then we're going to score again going the opposite direction at one and three quarters. It also has these amazing lines that you can line up throughout the whole entire um, cutter so there's no guesswork all right now that we have those I'm gonna go ahead and fold all the which ways okay and that should give us a little book all right and now I'm gonna get this cutter out of this way this fabulous cutter out of the way because it's blinding you I'm sure and this is what we have so far the next thing we're going to do is get some red line tape or some score tape. I'm gonna be using score tape today. And I've gone ahead and I've chosen the thinnest one that I have in my house, which is a quarter inch. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna put some right here in the middle of the spine. And that, since I have this extra piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put that there too. And then I'm gonna peel it back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some on both sides right here. This is where I really want it to be thin. So I don't want a super thick piece because then we won't be able to fit our gum in there. And here. I actually saw one of these done at my local scrapbooking store and I had to do it myself. So I figured out a way to do it. I don't know, it's probably not the exact way that they did theirs, but it's how I'm doing mine. It's much like my hot chocolate packet that I made. So I just kind of designed it using the actual hot chocolate and the gum packets to decide how big it needs to be. Okay, so that's what we have. As you can see, let's slip one of these in here. These will go right inside. Just like that and then it'll close up. Okay, but first, let's number these. Because what's what's fun about an advent calendar is that you can put numbers on it. So I went ahead and used the Just the Date stamp set from Pink by Design and I just stamped the calendar, just like that. And I am using adhesive paper so that I can just cut across and these will be adhesive numbers. Okay, so now let's see. Let's go in order so I don't get too crazy here. And I'm going to go ahead and just stick these numbers on and I'm going to fast forward for you guys because I know that you don't want to watch all of this. So hang tight. Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout. Town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming. Okay, they're all numbered, so we're gonna slip them in here in just a minute. Um, you can also use just a magic marker or something like that, but I thought it'd be fun to have just a little piece of paper and you can pop out each one. So now we're just gonna decorate the front of this. Okay, there's this in this dark blue paper is three by three and a half. And we're just going to put some adhesive on it, stick it on the front, and we need some kind of Christmas wish. So we'll do, may your days be merry and bright, and this 
is from the Peace on Earth stamp set. So let's go ahead and I'm going to wait to stamp this because I want to make a belly band with this Martha Stewart punch, border punch, and some white paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first just to kind of see where I want to set that, that stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and start punching across the whole thing. I am loving this punch. Isn't it pretty? So let's see how big it is. Perfect. It's going to be the perfect length. Find out exactly where we want it. We'll just go around like this. I have my adhesive on the snowflakes. And I want it to be tight, but not too tight. I want to be able to slip it off. So let's do it right about there. And I think that's going to be just, yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, so then we just need to stamp the front of this. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's slip this off. <sighs> I have to breathe because I'm afraid that it was going to tear. <laughs> okay, and then let's get some ink. And I'm just using black ink. May your days be merry and bright. And I think we're just going to put it right here on the corner. So I'm having a hard time seeing because of the light. Okay, there we go. Look how pretty. It's just simple and fun. Okay. So we're going to put these in. And you can put them... So I'm going to put these in. You can put them whatever order you want. If you wanted to count down 24, 23, 22, you could do that. If you wanted to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so you know you're on the 24th day. However your family does it. Because I know families are different so or if you just want to eat all the gum in one day you can do that too that's probably what I'm going to do no <laughs> okay then close that up and then we're just going to put this little belly band over it carefully so carefully and that's going to be it that's going to be our whole project I just have to make sure it doesn't snag on those little delicate Snowflakes, look how cute that is. Just simple and pretty. That's it, that's our little advent calendar project. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry. You better